In this lesson, we'll cover the use of VR scans, our library of photoreal materials that are now supported on both CPU and GPU in V-Ray Next for Rhino. The VR scans library contains over a thousand photorealistic scanned materials, each generated by capturing a real-life material sample from thousands of different angles, which is why they appear so realistic. Note that VR scans are available only to V-Ray VR scans license holders, but you can sign up to try them out for free for 90 days on our website. To begin, let's take a look at our scene here by starting an interactive render. Right now, you'll see that we have a chair and drape, each with a generic V-Ray material that we can swap with some VR scan materials. Let's stop the render and then proceed with creating the VR scan materials. First, let's open the Asset Manager and right-click on the Materials tab. While holding the Control key, we can click and create three VR scan materials. Expanding the right-hand flyout menu, let's now load in our scans for each material from the Asset folder. Note that if you're rendering with VR scans and do not have a license or have not signed up for the trial version, V-Ray will render the materials with watermarks. Okay, to start, I'll double-click on this VR scan and rename it VR Scan Wood. Then, I'm going to load in the Oak Gloss S VR scan, which you'll see appears neatly in the Live Swatch preview. I'm also going to rename the other materials to VR Scan Plastic and VR Scan Fabric, and load in the HNLT 25 S VR scan, and the Fabric Yellow Pattern S VR scan, respectively. Okay, now let's switch to Render Camera 02 for a closer look or feel free to find your own perspective to your liking. Then, let's select the drape, right-click on the VR Scan Fabric material, and choose Apply to Selection to assign it. Now, let's start an interactive render to inspect it. The first thing you'll likely notice is that the tiling of the VR Scan is quite off. The easiest way to adjust this is by selecting the VR Scan material and going to the Parameters rollout. Here, we can change the tiling factor to control the material's tiling which acts as a global multiplier for the UV coordinates. To be precise, I'm going to change the tiling to 0.2, which I know works well for this scene. Now, the appearance of the fabric material is too yellow for my taste. We can easily tweak this in the appearance rollout if we enable the option labeled paint. Here, we can pick a color from the color picker and preserve the texture of the material, and also lower the strength of the paint's tint so that it's not overpowering. You could even load in a texture for the paint color as well. In this case, I'll give the paint color a slight bluish shade, but lower the paint strength down to 0.5 so that the effect is pretty subtle. You can choose a paint color to your liking, but keep in mind that it will usually look best if you use a similar value and saturation to the original scan's color, avoiding anything too extreme. Otherwise, you can feel free to use the filter option above to tint the overall appearance of the material. The filter affects not only the diffuse, but also other aspects of the material, including the color of the reflections. All right, now let's repeat this same process for the other two materials. I'll select the chair in the viewport, and then assign the VR scan plastic material to it. Then once again, let's adjust the tiling factor. I found that about 30 works pretty well for this object, but again, feel free to experiment with this depending on the material. Let's also adjust the paint color for the plastic and make it a soft shade of grassy green. Now that we have only the chair legs left with a gray material, let's draw a render region around the legs. Then, let's apply the VR scan wood material to it, this time setting the tiling factor to 5. If we zoom in here, you'll see that the texture still doesn't look all that great. As a final touch, we can drop down the texture placement rollout and set the rotate value to 90 so that the wood grain pattern follows the flow of the geometry better. As you can see, the wood material also has a glossy finish. This is called a clear coat and it simulates varnish. We can control this effect from the clear coat rollout in our wood material. Right now, the IOR is set to 1.437 we can weaken the effect by lowering the IOR value or completely removing it. For example, watch what happens if I lower it to an IOR of 1. 
In this case, I actually prefer the varnish on the wood and want it to be more prominent, so I'm going to set it to 1.6. Feel free to adjust the IOR to your liking. Okay, now let's turn off the render region and give V-Ray a moment to render out the image. And there you go. Now you've seen how easy it is to render photorealistic images using VR scan materials, all while taking advantage of the power and speed of GPU rendering in V-Ray Next for Rhino.